hi guys I'm back with another video and I just want to give my commentary on the whole Nicki Minaj Remy Ma beef okay so everybody thought Nicki wasn't going to answer I didn't even expect her to answer because it was like a week had passed and I was like nah she's not going to answer but no she put on her track and she hit a number one on iTunes it was like damn Nicki you did your thing and I guess she waiting for Remy to answer back, but I don't think Remy gonna answer back. Tell me what you guys think. What do you think of Nicki diss track? Who you think winning the beef? And who you think make out a better song? Give me your opinion. Shoot it in the comment section. Okay, and stay tuned. But, um, wait, so I'm really, I'm, do, I'm okay with it. Like, I love to do the leg exercise. So I'm good on that. But I know I have to work on my whole body. So, I'm going to try to do some shoulder one and work on my core some more. Because if you don't have a strong core, I heard that it's just, it makes it so much harder. So, I need to work on my core so I can get a stronger core. Because, you know, strong core is like basically the base of everything. So, that's what I'm need. That's my focus gym wise to work on the core. And like eating wise, I'm really trying to eat better. I mean, trying to eat cleaner. And I really want to try out a lot of new recipe. And, yeah. Oh, I also bought a, a, a new wave oven over the weekend. So I'm really excited about that. I feel like that will really help me with like my weight loss journey. Like because it will help me like cook a lot more food that's going to be more lean, not so fatty. It will help me cut down on a lot of grease to my food and a lot of stuff like that. So I'm really excited about this new, you know, the new wave oven. My lunch today, I actually had broccoli with um, carrots and cauliflower and chicken breast but the chicken breast I did it in a new way oven and it really come out good and I steamed the vegetables in the bottom of the new way oven so it, it came out good so I was pretty pleased with that but I want to try a lot more recipe in a new way oven so I don't know what else I'm gonna try next I do have some tilapia so I might put some tilapia in there and cook it up and you know see what it's like and tomorrow for lunch, I think I might have a salad. So probably when I go home today, I'll have, um, I'll put some tilapia in a new wave oven. The good thing about the new wave oven, sidetrack, um, is that the meat could be frozen and it'll still cook it really good. So that's really good. So what I'm thinking about doing is season, like when I buy the meat, so I'll season them up bag them and put them in the freezer so whenever i'm ready for them i just unbag it throw it in the new wave oven and cook it just you know what i mean so my meal bar would be washed clean you know like seasoning and what what the necessary stuff need to be done to it and then all i have to do is just throw it in the new wave oven so i'm really excited about that i feel like with this new wave oven i could um eat more of the normal food that I normally eat you know what I mean like if I want to have barbecue chicken I don't have to worry about how fattening it is I could probably do it but I don't know how I'm gonna do it in the new oven I gotta figure that out um oh um also one of my friends was telling me about a broccoli pizza I never tried it but I'll see what it's all about I'll see what it's all about I'm gonna try it and see what it's all about. I'm kind of stuck in traffic right now. See, a lot of traffic. 
So yeah, guys, stuck in traffic. I think they're getting work, road work done. Don't worry, I'm paying attention to the road. So, not distracted. I'm paying attention to the road. Um, some of these people in Florida can't drive. I promise you, they can't drive. But it's a whole different video. It's a whole different video. You're doing some road work. You'll probably see it to my side when I drive by. Um, oh, I was talking about a new one. Oh, the pizza. Broccoli pizza. Yeah, like, I've seen a couple people do it on YouTube, so. I don't know if I'm going to try it. I don't know. I'm going to see it because I heard you have to buy the broccoli rice for the dough for the bottom. So, we'll see if I try it or not. I'm really excited to like making all the stuff that everybody else normally eat, making it healthier, putting a healthier twist on it. So I'm really excited about that. And so yeah, um, yeah, I'm excited about that. I'm really excited to see like how much I weigh after a month of being on this healthy journey. And I, you know what? I think even when I lose the weight, I'm going to eat healthier because I really thought it was going to be hard to eat healthier. I honestly really thought it. I was like, oh, the food not going to taste good. It's going to be nasty and all that. But I want to honestly tell you, it's really not that bad. The food I make is really not that bad. It's really good. It tastes really good. The broccoli I made, the steamed broccoli, doesn't taste bad. The cauliflower doesn't taste bad. The carrots doesn't taste bad. It's just, I guess eating it raw is what tastes, the taste that I don't like. But once you steam it, you put a little bit of seasoning on it, does not taste that bad. So, this whole journey, it, it's really good. It's really working out for me. I think I might go to the gym tonight, guys. So... If I do, I'm going to put it in this vlog when I go to the gym tonight. But, as I say, you know, I like this health journey. I do a lot, a little bit of exercise. Not that much, but because of my hours that I work. But it's really my main focus for this journey. It's really about, like, eating cleaner and eating healthier. Because losing weight is 90% what you put in your body and 10% exercise. It's mostly what you put in your body, you know what I mean? So, yeah. Yep. I'm so excited to try a new recipe. I just can't wait, you know what I mean? When I have the time, I am just going to try it. I'm going to go all in. And I'm really excited for that. I am really am, really, really am. I see a lot of recipe on Pinterest. But you know how Pinterest are. You you go on Pinterest, you try the recipe, you're like, um, yeah. It looks good. But then when you make it, it's like a whole different story. Like you know what I mean? Like when you when you see it on Pinterest, it looks like it belongs in People magazine. And then when you make it, it's like it looks like something out of a magazine you should not be cooking. Like who cook it and why? Who did it? You know what I mean? So, I'm going to try these Pinterest recipe. I'm going to try it. Oh, you know what? Also, guys, um, squash. Um, I see this new spaghetti squash that everybody's been cooking with. I never had squash before, so I don't know how it's going to taste. But I'm going to try it. I'm going to try it. I think this weekend, I'm going to do like a squash, spaghetti squash recipe and do some like ground turkey put some ground turkey on it and kick it up make it lean and healthier and uh, that's what I'm going to eat on Saturday so I'm going to do the recipe I'm going to try it I'm not going to knock it till I try it and then I'm going to record myself trying it I hope it come out good and then I'm going to upload the video so if it doesn't come out good then you guys might not see the video but if it does I might upload it you know what I mean or I might still upload the video if it doesn't come out right and I'll explain what I did wrong and what I need to do better next time. So, yeah. Bye, guys.